Yes, I'm at an apartment complex on Gibson and San Pedro, and just hours ago, police had their guns drawn toward that unit right behind me. This is a real good neighborhood. I love it here. But his feeling probably changed a bit when he looked out his apartment window and saw a whole lot of police. They were playing their guns or their rifles. Rewind a few hours earlier when APD and state police got wind of two car theft suspects. A police chopper followed them as they headed up the interstate towards Santa Fe. Then, for reasons yet unknown, started heading back down toward Albuquerque. Sky 7 over the scene as police cars responded. Cops on the ground eventually tried to stop the suspects on university. At that point, the car became extremely reckless. We attempted to spike strip the car numerous times. The car ended up over here in the Southeast Area Command. When the suspects got to the apartment complex, they ditched their car, then kicked in a door of an apartment to get inside. Before long, state police and tactical gear surrounded the unit. Our cameras just feet away as officers took them into custody. Police say the entire operation was a success as the Joint Auto Task Force continues to put a handle on car theft. Getting these two individuals off the street who are tearing up the city is a good thing for the city in itself because who knows how much crime these guys are linked to. Well, we are waiting to get the names of those two guys that have been arrested. Now, there were two others that were placed into custody. Police are investigating their potential involvement in all of this. Police say no one was hit or hurt as the police officers were going after those suspects this afternoon. Live in Albuquerque, I'm Christine Pay, KOAT Action 7 News.